flames go up in smoke. What are we talking about today, Todd, on the All Things Real Estate Show bonus episode? Well, hey, today we want to ask you. We do. A question. Has anybody been seen a missing plane? Have you seen a missing F-35? <laughs> is that what it is? An F-35? It's an F-35. $80 million airplane. Yeah. Goes missing. Goes missing. Has anybody seen it? You know what? The government wants your help, and we are of no service to them, but we thought we would talk about how this pertains to certain aspects of real estate. How does it, Tom? Yeah, well, hey, you know, when you're in a real estate transaction, you are. your transaction is based on a certain uh, um, amount of things that have been disclosed in yes. the process of the yes. transaction. And normally through the course of the transaction, once you're at the end of it, the buyers will come back and take a look and make sure everything on the property is in the exact same condition as when the transaction was signed, when the contract was signed. But before we get to that, yeah, I mean, let's talk about this whole idea of a missing airplane. Okay. I mean, are we that <laughs> terrible? I mean, like I lose my keys, okay? Yeah. The keys are somewhere, but to lose an airplane. Yeah, an entire airplane, an F-35, and uh, taxpayer money. Taxpayer no money. So this article right here, a jet was left in autopilot over South Carolina, but officials said Monday that they're uh, certain it's no longer flying. Well, so it's crash landed somewhere <laughs> or, or, or. Maybe aliens took it. That's, you know, I you know all this new, a, this new UFO stuff. Won't take long for people to go down that road. That's right. So perhaps, you There's know. A little green man flying an <laughs> F-35 somewhere in the Look world. Look what I found. <laughs> this is amazing. Finally, I can get home. But the question is, okay, uh, two, two possibilities. Uh, one is that it crashed somewhere. Maybe. Uh, the other possibility is maybe that alien landed it in someone's backyard. <laughs> My fear is, though, that it's like really flying and they're not telling us. And then it's like going over like, you know, foreign governments restricted airspace yeah. is going to cause a lot of problems. But let's assume it crashed. Okay. So what happens, Todd, if in the middle of escrow... A, a plane crashes in your backyard. Yeah, that would be a material fact. Well, what kind of fact? <laughs> a material. There are materials in your backyard. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who are, you know, just cluing into this podcast, it's a little bit of a fun podcast today uh, in, in, in uh, inspired by this missing F-35. But a material change of contract or material mm -hmm. change of something in the property means a if, if fact that changes that will have a decision-making, decision-changing kind of evidence. So, mm -hmm. so, for example, if the house burns down, yep. that changes the buyer's desire mm -hmm. to buy the home. Yep. Or if, uh, like has happened before for us, we had a listing in Nashville with uh, one of my agents out there, and a, a tornado came through and ripped it to shreds. Mm -hmm. We literally, of course, cannot close escrow on a home that no longer exists. So these are very real things, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and on a sad note, Super Bowl Sunday here in Orange County mm -hmm. about four years ago, an airplane crashed oh, that's right. yeah. into a home, into a home, killing mm -hmm. the, the pilot and the occupants that yeah. were sitting down to watch the Super Bowl. Yep. I remember when that happened. So like, this is not unheard of. Mm -hmm. It just happens to be a military fighter jet worth $80 million that has now gone missing. Yeah. So what if an $80 million plane crashes into your home? Yep. And does it make it more, and, and, does it make it more valuable? <laughs> If it's destroyed, the home, no. Okay. The opposite okay. way. That's why I said two options. Two it either options. crashes or it lands. Now, if it landed in someone's backyard. Maybe there's a reward. Yeah. What's the value of that? Five of that million plane? dollar reward for <laughs> finding a yeah. airplane. Finders keepers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You broke it. You bought it. I mean, yeah. a couple of these things. So, uh, but, but yeah. yeah, going back to where I was starting, uh, you know, you're in a transaction and you're about ready to close escrow. But one of the last things that a buyer will do. Uh, with their agent is to go through and do a final walkthrough inspection. Yep. You go through that final walkthrough inspection and you find that there is an F-35 that has crashed into the backyard. Uh, that is a material fact and that does change. Yes. And so uh, that would affect that walkthrough. That wouldn't be a very happy walkthrough. No, not at all. And I think that the deal at that point would probably cancel. Yep. Uh, because <laughs> a couple of reasons. One is... I think you would have like the government descend upon the property 
and there's, quarantine everything off. There's always that. And like nobody could go near it until they do all their investigation. Yeah. Uh, is that and apart from the fact that it probably destroyed the home if it landed in the home. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yes. Would it create value for the property? I think it would be quite the opposite. Unless it is aliens, of course. then it becomes valuable. It's a it becomes a new tourist mecca. <laughs> it does, <laughs> and then everybody that's in that neighborhood hates the yeah. new location <laughs> because it becomes the spot to go see. Yeah. So yes, well, good discussion about material fact changes mm -hmm. when things do change at the home, from the beginning of escrow to the end of escrow, it will change the value of the home. A couple of options in a realistic situation is that a buyer can delay the close of escrow until something has been rectified or changed back to the way it was. Uh, another thing is a buyer can close. Yeah. Even if there is a material change. They can still choose to. Um, yeah. Right. And so even if the contingencies have been removed, everything is, you know, looking great. If there is a dramatic change to the property before it closes, it can make an impact. Southern California Fire is obviously an issue. Mm -hmm. Also, I know of a, a client who on the day of closing, the home had a water leak. Mm -hmm. And so it was actually discovered after the seller moved out, after the walkthrough was done, but before the buyer moved in, which was like they got the keys that night. So sometime between the morning when they were all cleared out and the evening, <laughs> a pipe burst flooded the whole thing. Yeah. And now you had two insurance companies that were arguing over who's going to cover the repair. Yep. The deal still closed, mm -hmm. but now they were trying to go back and argue who was going to cover the repairs and poor buyers mm -hmm. get the key to their brand new house. Yeah. It wasn't brand new. It was used, but you know, the, let down. new home to them, new to them only yeah. to find that it was completely flooded. So yeah. these things do happen. Material fact changes, material things do change the nature of the transaction. And so when you're working with an agent, make sure your agent understands how to navigate those flames. Ooh, I like what you did there, yeah. how to navigate. Yeah. So it's, it's Sometimes we, you might have to <laughs> eject from the transaction. <laughs> we have combined and, the you know. wild, wacky world of <laughs> aviation to the wild and wacky world of real estate. Only here on all things real estate That's with right. the Bald Brothers team. <laughs> so head over to our website, baldbrothersteam.com, or you can find all the episodes of all of our podcasts at baldbrothers.tv. And if you are interested in selling your home, plane free give us a call uh you know we can't assure that no planes will crash land in your home yep. while we're in transaction but we do our best uh and so you can give us a call at we, 833 we do our best to bring you to a smooth landing that's right 833-305-BALD that's 833-305-BALD hey thanks for tuning into this bonus very fun very wacky episode of the all things real estate show i'm aaron zapata and i'm todd anderson and we are the bald brothers team here at impact properties we look forward to talking to you next time god bless thanks for listening to the all things real estate show the bald brothers team is a licensed dba of impact properties inc licensed by the california department of real estate number 01922671 again we do not give any real estate legal or financial advice and we do encourage you to seek the advice of the proper professionals if you'd like to reach us you can call us at 833-305-BALD or you can reach us online at baldbrother.tv Equal housing opportunity.